When I was playing, I would, uh, I would do a lot of hitting in the morning, kind of working on technique and movement. In the afternoon, I'd, I'd play some sets. But uh, I'd secretly go out afterwards and uh, get on my skateboard and do a little more of a workout. All the dedicated skateboarders I've met go to bed at 9 o'clock, get up at about 6 in the morning, and then they really train hard. Most people know me as a tennis player, but on the side I had a secret passion, and that was skateboarding. Uh, these are gold balls that uh, you win when you win a national tournament, whether it's a junior tournament or the U.S. Open. Of course, I snuck this into the trophy cabinet because this is a brick uh, from the Brooklyn Banks, and uh, you know it was part of my passion, you know, to skate on that. Well, the coaches certainly didn't like uh, the idea of me skateboarding because it was a little dangerous, but uh, I did like to sneak out there and, and behind the scenes would uh, get on my board. Well, I grew up in Pasadena, California, and of course that was the center of uh, the beach, surfing, tennis, and of course skateboarding. Yeah, a trick that Stan was known to do was a handstand, and I'd seen people do that before, but not like he did it. He could really ride it. I think with all the tennis playing he was doing, his wrists were strong enough to pull that off, so it took me a while, but I got there. It's just one of those things, like Animal Chin or something like that. You're not even sure if it's all true stories or if it's just like a myth. You know, Mark Gonzalez is like the man in skating. He's our Pablo Picasso. He invented everything. But apparently, Mark Gonzalez is like a diet Stan Smith. Stan Smith was an incredible skater. You know, always rode the incredibly loose trucks, you know hitting it this way, hitting it that way. In fact, a lot of John McEnroe's tactics were stolen from the way Stan Smith handled his, his life on the streets with his skateboard. Stan Smith, you know, he had that, this, and he was like that. I don't know if anybody can claim the white t-shirt, but I wear him because of Stan. He made it look good. Can't do the stash, so I don't have it like that, but I would if I could. I've heard some rumors that uh, Mark Gonzalez basically used to just hang out with Stan Smith and apparently stole like all his stuff, learned everything from him. I couldn't take it. I had to video it. I'm videoing his moves to go back and watch it and copy them. I think the no comply was the first like trick that I saw Stan Smith do that I was like, I gotta learn that. And that changed the way I thought about skateboarding. Yeah, I think Stan invent all the tricks, man. Kick flip, heel flip, 360 flip. Jason Lee too was really influenced by Stan, like of his 360 flip. I think when he saw that, he just want to learn it. And You can almost go to any city around the world and for each spot that you see, there's something legendary that Stan Smith has done. In the first few years of my pro career, we had coaches that would work with us and we traveled around the world with all the guys on the Davis Cup team. Of course, I always had my skateboard in the back pocket. The U.S. Open was a big event in my career, and I was able to win that in New York. And of course, in New York, it's uh, what a great place to skateboard. We go down to Brooklyn Banks, we go to Soho, Broadway Street, all those areas down in the southern part of Manhattan were terrific. After matches, I'd be able to sneak out and do a little skateboarding on the side and made sure my coach wouldn't know that I was doing that. I told him I was going to just go out and do a little run. Stan Smith was more about competition with himself. You know, he enjoyed street skateboarding far more than he enjoyed tennis. He said, you know, tennis, you go back and Fort skateboarding, you're going f and you can go 10 miles that way. No one's going to give a about you. you know? <laughs> that was one of his first passions. His first love was skateboarding. Then, you know, they said, you know, this Stan Smith guy, we got to take him off the streets and put him in the court where we can make an arena, charge people to come see him play that tennis. When I think of my favorite tricks, of course, is the kick flips, the tray flips, the no complies, and my favorite, of course, is the Smith grind. Popping him Smith, you gotta remember, he's a regular flip. He's like, ooh, popping out, mm. I don't even think he had shoes when he first started skating. He wrapped Torna Grip, I think it was called. He wrapped that around his foot, and then he had to build the Stan Smith so that he could take skateboarding further, because you need shoes to do some stuff. He is a man, after all. Well, here's an example of some of the new skateboard shoes, the Stan Smith skateboard shoe, and it's got all the technology on it. One of the things is the sprint skins, which is inside the shoe, and it gives you extra support for impact. 
it's amazing, but uh, my, my new skate shoe, we got this vector traction, and I got that really from Buenos Aires. I was out at a snake pit, and uh, I saw the snake, and I said, well, this has got to be perfect for my shoe. And of course, the uh, tongue has the face, and the mustache is now correct. It's a nice fuzzy mustache. Even though I had a passion for skateboarding, uh, I would have liked to see some of those good skateboarders, maybe even Mark Gonzalez, you know, playing tennis because he had great balance, great strength, great moves, and he would have been a good tennis player.